Hey Planet Girls, I have a how to crop video again. So this is a little bit different. Um, I have some printables already open. And what we're going to do is we're going to crop them and resize them to fit a different size planner. So I think we'll first start with um, this word art file. So what you're going to want to do is right click, select all, and then you're going to open the modify panel and click on crop. Now just to know, so you know, I am using Silhouette version, uh, designer edition version 4. So if you do not have um, the upgrade to Silhouette version 4, uh, things are, might look a little different in your version. Um, if I do something that you're not able to, it's probably because I have designer edition and you're using the free one. You can pick up the designer edition on Amazon relatively cheap, I think like between $25 to $35. And it's just an upgrade, it allows you to do a little bit more um, things with Silhouette. Okay, so we've cropped this and what we're going to do now is just, you take your left click, you know, hold your left mouse button in and just kind of drag across the screen to select everything. And then you can either make them smaller or you can make them bigger. If you want some a certain size, you can click on them and you can click on several of them. So you could go ahead and like, you know, click on all the ones that say Instagram and you could make those a certain length by typing it the um, information up here. So that would be how you can resize this file here. Then when you want to um, send it to Silhouette, it, it's going to be a little different. So let me just show you how you do that right now so I don't forget later. So you'll go to your send panel. You're going to choose whatever paper you're printing on. Um, so if you are using clear sticker paper from Silhouette, which they do have it, um, I just bought some to try out, but they sell a um, clear sticker, printable sticker paper. So you could choose that, or the clear white is what we use mostly. Um, so you choose your sticker paper, then your action, you want to choose simple. This is different from normal. And you can see that there's absolutely nothing going on here. Your screen's white. What you're going to need to do is, again, like we did before, left click anywhere and then just drag it across so it's ev you see how now everything is selected and you're going to put cut so now it's going to register and put the red white lines okay so that's how you do that and then you can go ahead and send it to your silhouette okay now we're going to look at excuse me there you are oh. We're going to look at the Tuesday um, files that come like this. I know a lot of people um, say that they would like to save on ink. So you're just going to select everything. Crop these. Okay. And you see how this is different. So we, we want to get rid of the boxes around. So what you're going to have to do, I'm going to control Z, sorry and put everything back. We're going to have to get rid of the blue lines to do this correctly. So go over here to f edit and select by color. Oh. Sorry, my notifications are not on. Um, so go to edit, select by color, and then we're going to select the blue, and then we're just going to delete it. So now that the blue line is gone, we can select all we can then now crop it and now everything's gone away and then you can make more make them a different size whatever you need to do now remember if you make something um, a different size you can really drag it and make it any size you want it may pixelate it a little. Um, it shouldn't though because I do use a 600 DPI 
um, files, but you can see once you get it a little big, it, it's a little too big. And then you can, you know, delete certain ones that you don't want, make a whole sheet of um, ones that you do, or, you know, however you wanted. So that would be that. And then you would do the same thing when you send it. Just make sure that um, you're on simple and cut edge. But you're going to have to make sure that every you select everything and hit cut. Or it's not going to um, be red. So just make sure you see all these little red lines along the ends of everything. Okay, so we'll move on to this one right here. So what you can do with your big kits, you know, is the same thing. We're going to right click, select all, hit crop. Alright, so now that we've cropped them out so they're all individually, what we want to do is say, I know a lot of you guys have the big happy planner and you're telling me that you're doing like, you're scaling things up. So we're just going to move everything over here real quick, over to the side. Alright, and now we're going to bring one in here. And we're going to go up here, and we're going to change the size to see if we can make it fit the Happy Planner. The big Happy Planner. The big Happy Planner are the same, I think they're the same with the cross, but they're much, um, no, they're, they would be gigantic. Let's see if we can find some measurements for the big Happy Planner. Big... Happy planner measure. Let's see. So what I did is I went to Pinterest and I typed in big happy planner measurements. And here's one right here. And of course. Okay, that one. Let's try this one. <laughs> and I don't know what that is, but it's definitely not what we wanted. Leave. Um, let's try this one. Here we go. That's for the month. Sorry, I should have had this pulled up before. Um, here we go. Alright, so somebody has already very nicely um, measured this out for us. So, they look like they are about 1.941 inches wide. So let's do that. We're going to click on it and we're going to do 1.941. And we're going to hit enter. And it's going to enlarge it. And it is 3.013 tall. So we're going to have to ch unlock the aspect ratio, and we're going to have to do 3.013 and hit enter. Alright, now it is going to stretch it a little bit, but it still looks pretty good. Now you can match these for the rest. So we're going to take, and we're going to just select all of these um, boxes that we need to enlarge, and we're going to go ahead and type in the measurements 1941 hit enter go over here and type in 3.013 and hit enter okay and then you're going to have to arrange them on your paper separately so you may have to, um, you're not going to be able to fit everything on the same page. So then you would just have to cut, right click, cut, open a new file, paste it. You have to set your registration marks. And then go ahead and fit the rest of the stuff on here. Okay. And 
you can kind of do some aligning yourself using the transform tab. I like to use space vertically and align on the horizontal. And then we'll space horizontally just to kind of make everything look nice. Oops, control Z to redo that. Okay, now we'll make sure nothing is in this little hash marked areas. So let's go back to the HP. We want to measure this guy. So we're gonna look here and it says that two boxes over right here is 3.907. So we'll just do that and put it at 3.907. Hit enter. I kind of smashed it. So if you want to hit control Z, you can change the aspect ratio on and you can do 3.907. Hit enter and it's going to maintain the aspect ratio so it doesn't smash it. And that's 764 wide, which, you know, when you're thinking about it, it's not too bad. Okay, so then you can f do this with all of the um, files that you get with the Happy Planner. Um, and I think this is a lot easier than trying to enlarge your files. And the good thing is, is even if you don't have Silhouette, you can get it for free. And you're going to be able to do this and hit print. Print the file without any of the registration marks, you could turn those off. Make sure that you um, have print border on. You can turn off cut border and then you'll see the gray line. You can fit all of this in here, print it, and then hand cut it out. And you'll be able to fit a lot more on your page. And that's good no to know if you are just going to hand cut them out. Or if you're going to try and use you know, your Cricut or whatever else you have. Um, so there's that and you can do the same with like your Erin Condren kits you can crop those and make them fit horizontal so it's kind of going to be doing the exact same thing you're going to have to either measure your planner yourself or you're going to have to get the measurements from Pinterest I did look up the measurement for the horizontal already and I found one but it has, um, you know, looks like, let's try and see if we can get these to look decent. So I went ahead and cropped it out, and we're just going to move it all off screen so we can play around here. Okay, so this is going to need to be 1.6. 1 1.6. 1 Oops, no, I don't know how wide that area is. Oh, 1.5. Okay. So it's going to be the same width. It's just a little bit shorter. So we'll have to take the maintain aspect ratio off. Okay. And it is 625. And hit enter. And all it did was kind of smush it down. We can do that with all of them. 625. All right, and then um, this would fit within this box right here. And then you can um, measure out any other objects you need and then resize them. Um, if you didn't want it as wide, you could have, you know, maintain the aspect ratio. Let's see what that would have looked like. So you could have maintained your aspect ratio by keeping that box there and then typing the height in that you needed, which was the, I forget now, six. And I lost the page I was looking at. <laughs> I think it was like 625. Let's just put that. And it's going to make it a lot smaller and not as wide. 
but that's just something that you could think about. Alright, and then you would just arrange it all on your page however you wanted. Making sure that everything is if within your little um, boxes. Say um, you wanted to have two of a certain box, you could just copy and paste it, fit it in wherever. Um, like so. And this is kind of how I um, customize my printables for myself when I go to print. Because you can, you know, edit pretty much anything that you have. So if you have all the cut files open, you have the littles, you can do the same thing by selecting it all cropping it like I like more of these so maybe I'm gonna copy and paste oops copy paste I'm gonna rotate them I'm gonna fit them in here on the side say oh but I really don't use any of these I'm gonna take those out and say I want some more um, glitter headers for whatever reason you could just select what you need go to your um, replicate window copy above make sure there's enough white in between to cut them um, you know I think I've gone over you know how to like customize your headers to match printables so there is a video on that and that kind of talks about the same thing. But you don't have to print all the pages to be to use. I mean, if there are some pages that you don't use certain things on, you can crop those out and only use what you need. So that is my video. I hope that you have find found it useful. And um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks.